Hey guys, Mamie here with OneJoyousSkip.com. Thanks for stopping by my channel. And today I'm working on the second card in my spring series using this stamp from Your Next Stamp. And it's called Extra Awesome. And it's really, really cute and I can't wait to use it. And so I just cut out the square panel there with one of my stitched rectangles. And I am stamping down the image of the bunny and also of this cute little carrot on top here. And I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and that ink is good for using Copics. So it is a Copic friendly ink. And after I stamp those down, I'm going to stamp it off also on some Inka Dinka Do masking paper. And so that's so I can cover the image so I can do some ink blending on the background. So after I have all that cut out and ready to go, I'm just going to lay that right on top of each image. And you want to press down this masking paper really well so that it won't come up on you whenever you're using your blending tool. Don't mind my hair there getting in front of the, the clip every so often. My hair's really frizzy lately. And so I'm going to zoom in here and do the ink blending now. And I'm using this um, stencil by Tim Holtz, and it's called Honeycomb. And it's a really versatile stencil to use for all kinds of seasonal cards. And I think I ended up going with the Abandoned Coral. And I'm going to go in like a circular circular pattern here on the stencil so I can create kind of like an egg. An egg look. I mean, it's it ended, that happened by accident, but once I had it going, I was like, oh, this looks kind of like an egg. So I just kept going with it. And so you want to start right on top of your um, image there that has the masking paper so that your darker ink will start there and any kind of blending marks that you have will eventually rub out as you keep going. And I think that looks pretty cute. And so I'm finally using my new Heidi Swap sprays that I got. I put in a recent haul video. And it's really, really cute. I'm using this yellow color. And I was hoping that the masking paper would kind of help keep the ink from bleeding through, but that didn't work. So um, just be careful with that because this ink is wet and so the masking paper doesn't hold up very well with that at all. And so it wasn't that big of a problem, so I didn't worry about it for this time. But just for next time, um, you might want to use something thicker on top of your image. So I got a couple of little spots on his foot and on his ear, and I'm able to take care of that. And there's a little bit on the carrot, too. So it's not too bad, but, you know, as a card maker, you look at every little thing, and you're trying to figure out how to do it better the next time, so... And I'm just taking my warm grays now, and I'm just taking two colors. It's going to be very simple coloring. And I'm just going over the shadow areas. Uh, that way the bunny still looks white. And so I went ahead and, t and I'm taking my darker ink first, my darker Copic first, and just going around those shadowed areas. And then I'll come in with a lighter um Copic to blend it out. I'm using the W3 right now to set in those shadows. And you don't need a lot at all. And now I'm using the W1 to kind of blend that out a bit.
And now I'm going to pull out some orange colors here so I can do the carrot. And I'm using the YR12 there just to do the lighter color on the carrot. And I'm doing very simple coloring. I'm really just filling it in and then blending it out. And now I'm going around with the YR04 as my darker color. And I'm going to blend that back out with the YR12. coming back in and adding just a little bit more shading. And now I'm going to pull out a couple of greens here so that I can do the little stem on top of the carrot. And I'm using my G14 as my darker color. And I'm pulling those stems in a little bit more just to give it more of a bushy look. And then I'm blending everything back out with the G12. And of course I'm using my RV11 to give everything some sweet little pink cheeks. And just blending those out with my blender marker. And I'm coming back in with the RV11 to do all the little pink areas on the bunny. So I'm doing his belly and his ears and his nose. And yeah, this is a really simple card that anybody can um, replicate. I'm coming in with the R11 to blend out the RV11. And this is a great little card for an Easter basket or something like that. And now I'm taking my N2, and uh, I've talked about this before in previous videos, that it's really good to outline your image um, in a dark gray. Not too dark, um, but not really, really light. Like an N2 is a good color to give your image enough depth to really make it pop, make it stand out from the background. And so my light source, of course, is coming from the top right. So anything to the bottom left or the bottom would be in that darker gray. or any areas that are underneath something. I feel like that makes such a difference. What do you guys think? And now I'm taking my black jelly roll pen just to go back in and darken up the eyes and just some of the lines that might have gotten a little bit faded. And now I'm just going to adhere that panel down to a top folding A2 size card. I think it came out really cute. Very simple and very cute. One layer card. This is the first time I didn't have to edit down the video like so much like I usually do. I have to edit for like an hour or two because it's just so long. So this was really nice for me not to have to spend an hour or two editing a video. And so now I'm taking the little stamp that says Happy Spring that comes in the stamp set and um let me make sure it does come in that. Yeah, it comes in that stamp set. And I'm using my Versa Fine Onyx Black Ink to stamp that and just creating a little fishtail banner here. And I'm also putting a little bit of washi tape underneath the banner 
And here is my final card. And I hope you guys really um, enjoyed this video. And I just slowed it down a little bit because I moved really fast whenever I was putting the video together. And so, yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by. And I hope that you'll stay for the rest of the videos that are coming out soon. Thanks a lot.